I'm going to do a series of videos here on how to complete your songwriting or composition task. Uh, this is going to be the first one. Uh, there'll be quite a few of these because I'm going to go through every stage and show you an example of how to complete each of these steps and what the final product sh should look like. So in the first one, I'm going to go through the songwriting task and I'm going to do the preliminary research part. So that's this. So I've already chosen my song, and the song I'm going to be doing is Mr. Tambourine Man by Bob Dylan. Um, I've had a listen to the song already. That's obviously the starting point. So I'm doing this part here. I've chosen one or two songs that are representing a style I'd like to emulate. So the style is going to be a sort of acoustic folk type of music, I guess. Now, when I want to start off, the first I can do the lyrics and the form together. So I'm going to go find those lyrics now and that'll help me identify the form as well. And I'll show you how to do the analysis there. So let's go here. Uh, where are they? You got 10 minutes. There we go. All right. So before I actually start analyzing the lyrics, just by looking at how the lyrics are laid out, I can actually figure out what the form is. So you can see this Hey Mr. Tambourine Man section, four lines, repeats multiple times throughout the song. And so I can call that the chorus. So the song actually starts with the chorus. And then these sections in between are all verses. And if you listen to the song, you can hear that each of these sections is the same music, but the words change each time, which is exactly what you expect a verse to be. Okay, so I've already figured out, I've already can say what I need to say about the form. So the form is we basically have an alternating verse and chorus through the whole song. Um, so it goes one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, one, two, three, four. So there's five choruses. Now, when I actually listen to the song, there's an instrumental section here, which has the music of another verse and chorus. Or another chorus and verse, sorry, other way around. And so you could just describe that, that form. I'm not sure if there's actually a name for, for what that is. Okay, so that's my form analysis done, essentially. Uh, it's quite easy when you have the lyrics because you can just see from the way they're laid out what the form is. So this one's not really like a standard song form, and it's not just a repeating verse either. We have a, this chorus that goes in between all the verses. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is analyze how the lyrics are actually put together. Now I'm going to only do this for one of these choruses. So I'll just erase that. But you'll need to do it for not necessarily the whole song, but at least a verse, a chorus and a bridge. So at least once for each different type of section. So the first thing I want to look at is the rhyme scheme um, and the structure. So I can see here I've got a line that actually repeats. The line itself is fully repeated. So I suppose we can still call that an A. Normally the AA would, would imply a rhyme rather than just a literal repeat of the line. And here we do have a rhyme. So A, B, A, B is sort of the layout. Okay, so I've done that. The next thing I want to do is look at the meter. So the meter is kind of like the rhythm of the words. And the way we figure that out is by looking at where the stressed syllables are placed. So stressed syllables mean syllables that have more emphasis on them than others. 
So let's just so you can do this just by reading the line. So the first line is, "Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me." So the word "Hey" that's a fairly obvious one. It's stressed. Hey, Mister. So the start of Mister has a stress on it. Tambourine. Tambourine man. Tambourine man. Tambourine. Tambourine. So tambourine has two stresses. Tambourine man. And the way where man's place there doesn't seem to have one. Play a. Uh, so so a word like a uh, or the uh, or and those kind of words never never have a stress on them. Stresses are, are usually reserved for well, they're not on words that don't have a sort of meaning. They just have a grammatical function, like the word A. So play a song for me. And notice yeah, it's more obvious in the second part of that line. Play a song for me. And the important words, play song me, are the ones that are stressed. Now, so the way I work that out, play a song for me, I'm just saying it. If I was to put the stress on the A and the four, play a song for me, you can see how wrong that sounds. And I'm just going to keep going through. I'm not, I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. And there is, and there is no place I'm going to. So because I know the song, I know that he puts the emphasis on there. I'm not sleepy. And there is, and there is no place. There is no place. I'm going, going to. Yeah. So you might, if you're reading that without knowing the song, you might put the emphasis on is rather than there. So obviously that line will be the same. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come. Oh. Following. Follow, following, start all following, following you. One, two, three, four, one, two. So actually, yeah, it's not obvious that there is a pattern here between this line and this line. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, but it's worth doing the analysis anyway. Let's have a look at the next verse, actually. Because there's some interesting stuff happening here. So rhymes first. We've got a rhyme and another rhyme. And there's a rhyme here. So I'm just going to do the first... Well, we'll do this whole verse because there's something interesting happening here. So first of all, I have this quite long line. Let's put the emphases in now. Though I know that evening's empire has returned. So... In the word returned, you would normally have the emphasis on turned, returned. But I'm knowing the song, I know he sings, has returned into sand. Vanished from my hand. That's an easy one to do. Left me blindly here to stand, but still not sleeping. Ancient empty streets too dead for dreaming. Okay. So this now there is quite a straightforward pattern because I can see that the the meter of these two sections is virtually identical. Though I know that evening's empire has returned into stand, my weariness amazes me. I'm branded on my feet. You can hear it's the same rhythm. Vanished from my hand. I have no one to meet. Left me blindly here to stand, but still not sleeping. And the ancient empty streets too dead for dreaming. You can hear the same rhythms happening there. And as for the rhymes, you can see we have this A, 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 B, B, B. But we also have this thing where, so we've got a long line at the start of the A section, though I know that Evening's Empire has returned into stand. 
and then a short line that runs, vanished from my hand and another one, left me blindly here to stand. And then this little addition, but still not sleeping, which doesn't run. So it's quite a interesting structure, the way this is put together. And then he repeats the exact same structure again in the second half of the verse. So the way these words are put together is quite um, unusual and fairly striking, especially how we have these the long line and the two quick rhymes, and that's the second of those happens in the middle of a line where we have a word that doesn't rhyme at the end. Yes. A bit surprising in a way. All right, so that is my going to be my analysis of the form and the lyrics. So I've probably done enough here. It might be worth doing another verse. I'm not going to do it, but I can already see that there's some interesting things happening here. So I've got ship stripped, which is a rhyme, close enough. And then grip step. So those are not rhymes, but they are what are called consonances. So we don't have a rhyme, but we do have the same consonant sound at the end of the words, grip, step. Um, and then what do we have? And then we'll put one that doesn't rhyme. Then we have fade, parade, so that is a rhyme. And then again, we've got a sort of consonant sound halfway through the line with then another addition at the end of the line that doesn't rhyme. So you can see the way these uh, verses are structured is quite actually quite complex. So there's a lot you can say here. Um, and if you need any additional help figuring that out, I'm happy to help you with that. I'll put up more information here and let me know. So that's going to be the first section. So this is the preliminary analysis. And I'm talking about lyrics and form. We'll get to rhythm, melody, and harmony in the next video.